hammer and nails, probably 3D nails, carpenter's glue, wood clamps, and the lumber. This is really nice. I've moved it back here to the back, and do you see something a little bit different? The boxes have been rearranged, but yet they still fit in a square. That's the fun part about this project. This is based on multiples of three inches. In other words, three inches, 12 inches, six inches, that sort of thing. Or if you wanted to make a project like this based on four inches, you could do that also. Let's leave this here for now. Let me show you some of the materials you'll need. Just plain, simple wood. To do this was took only 30 feet of lumber to build. After doing some measuring, took care of some cutting, and now all I gotta do is piece it all together. But that's not all that hard. Now let's see. Double check myself here. All right, that's the top piece. So these two go on like that. And if I did this right, that should fit in the middle. That's about all there is to it. Now, when you're putting a box together like this, you can either leave the back open or you can close it up. In a case like this, quarter inch plywood works real well. Now this is birch, so it has a real nice smooth back to it. So once it's attached, you can paint it up with very little sanding involved. But what I like to do is use clamps. So when I'm putting a project together like this, and you're doing it alone, clamps are real good friends. However, if you're going to be using family members, like you want to get the kids involved, have the children, maybe they can hold it for you. Or maybe you can hold it and let them nail. Just one thing, keep your thumbs out of the way. Now, because the wood is three quarters inch thick, I'm going to be using some 4D nails on this box. You can use three or you could use six, depending on the materials that you're building with. Now that looks pretty good. We're just about ready to do a little bit of sanding on this, but before we start the sandpaper process, let's see how the back goes on. Little reminder, we're using quarter inch plywood. This is a birch. And on plywood, you have two sides. You have a real pretty side, and then you have a side that's a little bit rough. Always put the pretty side inside the box because that's what you're going to be looking at. Now, I'm gonna be using some furniture glue to put this down and then to hold it in place while the glue sets up, I'll be using a couple of 3D nails or three penny nails. They're also referred to as that. Actually, this is a lot of fun to do because I'm outside, it's lovely weather. You can do this in your shop or out in your yard as well. Set that in place. And again, these are 3D nails I'm using to hold it down. And what I'd recommend would be two on each side, but you get the idea. Now I'm ready to sand. No, no, wait a minute, no I'm not. Let's talk about the nails just a little bit more. I've nailed these down flush, but what I would like to do is I'm going to be painting, so let's recess these nails. So what you will do is take a nail set, put that in place, and then just give it a light tap with your hammer. Just like that. Then cover up the nail hole with a little bit of spackle. Or you can use a Carpenter's wood, get that down. You can touch it up with your finger if you wish, or leave just it, leave it raised just ever so slightly. This is really easy and it is a lot of fun. I've just about got all of the holes and little nooks and crannies covered. This will be ready to sand in just a few more minutes. But what I wanna show you next is the top portion. This is oak, and believe it or not, this is a stair tread. And you can get these at your home improvement center. 
And what is so nice about them is that it is rounded on the end. So the only thing that I had to do to finish this piece out, the top piece, is to measure, cut off one end, a little bit of sandpaper and some polyurethane. I didn't want to stain it or paint it, anything, because I like the wood color and the wood grain. So you mix this with a bunch of real pretty painted boxes, and this is what you get. I like it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I tell you what, please, this weekend, give this a try. That, we're going up to the bathroom and give it its new home. Take care. I'll see you real soon.